Good morning and happy September. I'm Mary Ellen from the channel Mary Ellen After 60 and I will tell you I am thrilled it is September. I, it could not get here soon enough for me. Summer is my least favorite season of the year so I am so glad that next month is October. The first thing I want to mention in my favorites is my grandson, my oldest grandson graduated from college last May and I did not tell you he landed a full-time job in his field. His major was accounting, his minor was finance, and he is working in the town that he grew up in which happens to be the same town I'm in and I'm thrilled to death for him and uh, we're all happy. It's, it's so hard to find a job right now to find a job in your field, it, it, it truly was a blessing. So that has to be my very favorite thing. Everything else I'm gonna talk about is basically lifestyle. That is where, in, in the home. That is where we've been and uh, we're making it through. Since I filmed my video last week on how I lost weight slowly, I have lost another pound. So that means 17 pounds in 25 weeks. I think that's like 0.67 pounds a week. So what my plan is now is to stay this weight for a couple of months and then reevaluate and see if I want to lose more. But I've been very happy about that. And I didn't mention in last week's video, I did type it in in the description. How I get my exercise is walking and I walk to Leslie Sansun and she's on, I'm looking at my TV right now. She is on YouTube and you, and you can go on all lengths of walks with her. And it's not just standing, you go side to side, back and forth, but that's how I get the exercise. Once the weather does break and the humidity's down, then I plan on walking outside, but I have to be careful where I walk because I, I do take a lot of blood thinner and I just don't want to risk going outside by myself and tripping and falling and that's just kind of how it is. One of these days I hope they make the size of Watchman device that they can put in my heart and then I don't have to take blood thinners anymore. But I'm just waiting for that time because I definitely will want to do that. Because when you're on blood thinners and your, your blood is thin, I mean you have to get it checked every month it does change the way you do things. You know, I used to bounce up and down the steps like it was nothing. Now I'm more careful. So I'll always remain careful, but I, but I look forward to not having to be on blood thinners, but I'm grateful that I have them. I don't remember if it was last month's favorites or the favorites before, but I'll put a link up, I'll put a link up here and then I will link it below. I talked about my appliance drama. Well, I am so pleased to tell you that it is working wonderfully well. Not only am I appreciating my refrigerator and dishwasher, I have a backup refrigerator in my garage. And what I store in it, I store flour, I, my makeup, you know, my lip glosses, my foundations, fruits, vegetables. A lot of times when we do our grocery pickup, I can just put things directly into the refrigerator. I, I try not to put anything in there that if that refrigerator would quit working that I would lose very much. We check it every day to make sure it's still running. In fact, in the ice, I have an ice tray that I'll never use, but I put like a screw in one of the sections of the ice tray and that way it, I will know if that screw ever sings, I'll know that the power has been off even temporarily. So, you know, everything I have in there it would still stay cold for 24 hours, I'm pretty sure. But anyway, I'm really glad about that. When we used to travel, and we will again travel, you know, if you live alone, you have no idea if your power has been off. Years ago, I started putting a clean screw in my ice cube tray. And so whenever we were gone and I came home, I could look and I knew that my power hadn't been off. But I, I feel so, so blessed to have a backup refrigerator and freezer. You know, it's a, it's a combo. I'm getting used to having stainless steel. It has, I haven't bought anything special. I, it hasn't been a big problem to clean. And I really do like the doors that open this way in the middle. And in the bottom is the freezer. Well, I always freeze cups for my ice. 
and you know it, it was a little bit of a challenge so what I did I bought two of the two of the Beano stackable bins and they look like this and I really like them I put I can put four of my cups my stainless steel cups and, and put it in the freezer it freezes quickly and I just rotate and I I also use these in my refrigerator I only have two of these and I'm thinking about getting some more I ordered a four pack and this is the size of one of the four packs that I got like this and I've made use of all of them it came with one of the ones that were the size of the ones I put my ice in and that's perfect for so many of our, our jars of things if I had it to do over again I would have ordered some more of the smaller ones so but I'm I'm fine and everything has its place it's it's been so handy I ordered both appliances sight unseen so I'm really really happy that they work and, and with the exception of learning how to re put things in a dishwasher I've been really pleased but I know that takes the time I think it was in June when I ordered this next item I'm going to talk about and I ordered two of them and they are t they're like TV trays. I'll put a picture of them in here. They're called Table Mates. I bought one years ago that is still perfect. I bought it in white and I use it for, for when I make videos. I, so whatever I'm gonna talk about, I have right in front of me. And, and when I'm done taping my video, I can just lift it up and put it aside. We started doing something new in this stay at home situation. We started eating some in our living room and so we use this table to eat on but you know me I have a lot of other uses for it I have always eaten in the dining room or in the kitchen growing up we would never have thought about taking food into another room so when I raised my children we always ate in the kitchen but there were times when I would put a blanket in our living room floor and I would they would have chips and dip and I tell you what that was a treat and that was a party they'd say oh my gosh it's party time so eating in the living room is a real treat for me we we watch television we talk but what I really like about these tables is like when you're cleaning something out whether it is you're dusting you're cleaning out your refrigerator I just move it from place to place and I take whatever is on what I'm trying to clean up and clean out and put it on one take care of what I'm doing and then put it back I've even used it in my garage, you know, cleaning off shelves. Uh, you know, sometimes you don't have a place to put something to clean it off. So it just kind of is a easy way for me to do that. But we've both been enjoying them. The only thing that's different than the original is that in the back, there's little slots that if you want to use it for a computer, that you can put a cord up through it. But it is exactly the same. And I know I've had my and for 20 years. I, I always kind of, I've thought, well, I've lived here since 1991. So I kind of know how old something is. But we've both been enjoying that. The next two items I'm going to talk about, we purchased last year. And we really have appreciated them very much. And this is going to sound funny to a lot of you, depending on where you live. But we run a dehumidifier in our home during the the hot and humid weather and the one we have is a 30 pint and I think that's like three and three quarter gallon and I have to I have to empty it or Jim does twice a day of course some of the liquid is in the actual dehumidifier but I take I, I, I can't believe how much water is pulled from our home and this home was built in 1891 it has a full basement I do have good tight windows but for some reason that humidity just comes in the house and it makes it hard for me to breathe sometimes we have central air I mean so I know it's probably my air conditioning system probably likes it because it's pulling out so much of the moisture before it even gets to the air conditioning so anyway that's something I've really been appreciating and the other thing is another kitchen appliance and I'll put a photo here of what I'm going to talk about and then I'll talk a little bit about we have never owned a toaster oven I have a small kitchen it's it's u-shaped you know you walk in to the kitchen there's a bar then next is a refrigerator the dishwasher there's like one of those lazy Susan type on the bottom a little counter space a sink a corner with another lazy Susan 
there is my stove, there's a little counter space, and then there's a pantry. Well, I don't have a ton of counter space. So when I saw a Ninja Foodie, it, it like air roast, air bakes, bakes, confection, and then you flip it up and you have your counter space back. Well, we found another spot for it, and I would not have needed the flip up part, but I'll put a picture of it here in my kitchen. And that's when it is down, and the next picture is when it is up. So I, if we would have known we were going to put it there, I would never have gotten the flip up. But I tell you, we have loved it. It, it preheats within, I mean, it seems like it's less than a minute. You can, anything that you can put in an oven, you can put in there. Mine is 1800 watts. It doesn't get hot. It doesn't get hot around it at all. So what I've done is when I want to fix something to see about how long, you know, it gives you a general idea, but I'll just look it up on YouTube. I'll put 1800 watt Ninja foodie oven and I'll kind of look at and see how long somebody does it. But we really have enjoyed it. We've used it more this summer than we ever did all year. The first time, I know when I got it, I got it in November last year because we were making dressing for Thanksgiving and I could toast nine pieces of bread at one time. That's the very first thing that I did with it. And anyway, it's been a blessing this summer. A carryover from last month is the everything bagel seasoning and that is how much we are down to here so i already have backups i like this on just about anything i like it on any type of vegetable uh, just about any meat and cottage cheese the only thing i wouldn't put it on is something that's kind of sweet but the brand i have is sam's choice and and i we both really enjoy it a lot it's fun. i haven't had a bagel since i bought it but uh, it's of course if you have anything with cream cheese it's it's good something I've done during this stay at home time I have made a few changes on my skincare and I haven't added anything in fact I've taken a couple even of though them. I have all the time in the world to do skincare I still don't enjoy doing it but I do want to keep my skin in as best shape as I can and not use as many things so anyway I was pretty glad about that I did I'll talk about that in a future video now I want to talk about something that was was okay, but I'm looking for something better. So I'm anybody that has any suggestions, let me know. I wanted some bags that were clear so it would be visible when we open the freezer to see what was in something. I ordered these from Amazon and I'll show you half this big. I'll show you how big they are. Two things that were wrong with them. They weren't they weren't thick enough for me because I want them to be reusable. And they were too large. And that was my fault. They're 24 by 18. So this, I mean, 24 by 18 is huge. I'm really wanting something that's about half that size and probably about twice as thick. Last year I started using Ziploc bags that you wash that you don't throw away. And I was really hoping for something that I could do the same. But, you know, this might last a couple of times, but I do want something better. I will find uses and give these to my friends when they come over and share them. <laughs> but they're not what I wanted. Also, I saw something on television and they were talking about a company. And it was food that is already made. That all you have to do is heat up. And let's just say, I will talk about it next month. But I already paused my order after trying one meal. But that doesn't mean the other three won't be. But but I was really disappointed. And it, it just may have been the one, but we'll see. I also want to ask you, does anybody have any recommendations for a good can opener? I don't care if it is electrical. I don't care if it is manual. But just one that works every time. I thought I had a good one. And it's just kind of becoming hard to deal with you know you put your can there you lift the thing and you come down and it sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't so i am in the market for a good can opener and if you're still here this is going to be a giveaway and you know i love to give do giveaways because i appreciate you all so much and if it wasn't for you i would not have a youtube channel so what i want to give today away today is two fifty dollar e-gift cards or deposits to your PayPal account. I like e-gift cards because it goes directly to you. 
I don't have to worry about anything getting lost in the mail. I don't have to, I don't have to worry. I just know that once, and I can do it the same day that you guys claim your prize. If you answer, you've got it within 10 minutes of me reading your email. So that's why I like to do e-gift cards. But it can be for anywhere that I can purchase an e-gift card that you can use online. So anyway, let me think what I wanted to do. First of all, I want to tell you that it's international like it's always been. You have to be 18 years old or older to enter. Uh, you need to be subscribed to my channel before this video goes live and all my videos close within three days They close three days and I probably should put it down to two because usually on the third day I'm not getting very many views, but I'm going to stick with three days and in the comment section What I'd like you to say is just something that you enjoyed during the month of August I know a lot of people had some really hard times and I'll tell you something I've always been one that counted my blessings out loud every night before I went to bed. And then again, when I get up in the morning, I have to do it every hour. I do because it is, it is tough. But I can always think of something that made my life a little bit better. So just put anything that, that you have enjoyed during the month of August. It is all good. I wish I could think of another word to say other than I appreciate you. But I do appreciate you, and I do believe I have the best subscribers of anyone. And I will see you in my next video. Take care. But I was very happy about that little cups of, that if that old, if that old, and I do, I do have, I'm done, bit it, ooh. But I, I, and I, and, um,